Hallelujah. Many things happen when you are in the presence of God. There are healings. There are miracles. The word of God comes to deconstruct faulty belief systems. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, an ideology you may have sustained for a decade that sponsors cycles of defeat in your life. One word accurately explained from scripture can bring you that deliverance. Hallelujah. And then there are impartations. An impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities. Whilst you are seated, you see many things happen to us when we're in the presence of God. More than the man who is speaking, there is the God who is walking. Moving from row to row. Moving from place to place. Moving from hall to hall. Searching the intent, the hunger, the expectations of men. And then coordinating words that come to heal, to bless, to deliver. So whilst you are seated here, you will be amazed to know the kind of ascendance that you are having in the spirit. Physically you may be seated, but in the realm of the spirit there is an elevation happening to you. It's a law, the law of transformation. The Bible says every time you truly behold, you cannot remain at that level. Now the Lord is that spirit, he says, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Then he says, we all with faces unveiled, beholding the glory of God as in a mirror, we are changed into what we are beholding. The word of God does not just tell you what God can do. It brings you into that experience. Why am I saying this? Because you see, routine creates boredom in men naturally. And so lest we get used to just coming to honor a church service, coming to honor a program, it is dangerous to be casual in the presence of God. Jacob said, the Lord was in this place and I knew not. As powerful as his presence is, lack of hunger and expectation can make it look as though God was not there. I never take his presence for granted. No. And so every time, make it a culture, let it be an education that you receive tonight. That every moment you have to spend in his presence, don't just say I am coming to church. Don't just say I am coming to hear a man of God. Don't just say I am coming to honor a meeting that was organized by a ministry. It's more than that. It is an encounter. Are we together? This is very important. I hope you know that this same presence that we seek is also sought after in heaven. The same presence that we long for, the angels and the saints in heaven live by that same presence. It's not an inferior dimension. That same presence, that is the life-giving factor also in heaven. Please do not be casual about the presence of God. More than healing, more than deliverance, more than people falling under the anointing, the laborious activity of the Holy Spirit transiting people into better and greater expressions of the power, the glory, the grace of God. This is his assignment. And I'm telling you, it takes a long time to achieve that in the spirit. This is why we gather and gather again. This is why we listen and listen again. This is why we learn and we learn again. Because it takes a long time to build. It takes a long time to produce men of stature. I stand, I stand in all of you. I bow, I bow in all of you. 
I see, I see in all of you, only God to whom all praise is due. I stand in all of you, Jesus. Something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Something happens when I mention you are God. From beginning to the end, there's no place for arguments. You are God. One more time. You are God. From beginning to the end, 